God been good to you? Amen. Amen. The name of this song, He Never Done Me Nothing But Good. Amen. Amen. We're playing at an all-black church March 7th, and you can't believe that this is their favorite song. He called me the other day on the phone. I said, how you doing? He said, he ain't never done me nothing but good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He said, he sat on church in Center Hill. He was there, and he said, y'all got to come to my church. He's been on us ever since, so we headed up there. Good people. And you know how they relate us? They don't really understand the music. So, yeah, the, the Beverly Hillbilly's going to come. <laughs> come down with us. I'm afraid we're going to lose that before. Our songs are too short. Play on top of it. On over. Does anybody know where we're going? It's all fun in the Lord. Y'all know where our banjo originated? Does anybody know? Ukulele. Hmm? No, it was actually the first banjo was built and played in Africa, and it was brought over here for the riverboat, uh, the four string tenor banjo, to be able to be played. And they didn't use finger pick, they played with the backs of their fingers, and it's called the claw hammer. So, you know, that, I thought that was pretty unique. I thought they'd been born and raised in the mountains. <laughs> when one got away from the river and got in the hills, we got what we got now. <laughs> we don't do it like everybody else. We're going to do it different. Oh, he ain't ever done me nothing, done me nothing but good, nothing but good. Oh, he Are you praying hard? 
Has anybody ever heard a song come morning? Yes. Oh, don't do it. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> do it. We got a big song nobody heard. That They've heard we it. Mess up, so good. I'm grounded again. <laughs> if we mess up, do it. Won't do it. <laughs> I guess on you now, buddy. <laughs> it could be a different Look, y'all got him. Look, he's turning red. <laughs> I bless you a lot. <laughs> God's chill. So long and been burdened. And they're longing for heavenly shores. Heartaches are their fault. And somebody that really is the very beginning of where we are because this is our mother right here. She was she was a Sunday school teacher 49 years Ooh. at the Church of God of Prophecy in Mascot. Oh, 49 years she taught the Word of God to young kids and young adults. There was like seven preachers came out from her ministry. Uh, several singers but most of all she prayed for all of us. Amen. Made to go to church when we were young, but you know, we got a little older and we had to try everything on our own. <laughs> but you know what? She didn't stop. She was a pioneer when it came to her kids. She said, she told the Lord, you know, one day they'll be working for you. Right. You know what? 
The Bible says, raise them in the way that you go when they grow old, they'll never depart. Amen. That, that one young boy had to be read that scripture. That, that one sticks out to us because Mama says she stood on that. Yeah. One day, one day, one day. That's right. And right. you know what? Mama said she stood on that. I don't know how many knew us. I know Tim Boyette did. Yeah, yeah. We he were knew. we were bona fide heathers. He knew it to a <laughs> <laughs> we, we was the real deal. <laughs> Our last name is Judy. Probably have y'all friends when he said that. <laughs> oh God. Did Judy right? hey, y'all. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're on the other side of the swamp, Judy. Right. Yep, that's us. Uh, that's but, a good thing. Uh, yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You know what? Yeah, the yeah. devil lost a tool when he lost us. Yeah, sir. Yeah, we gave him a black eye. We yeah. gave him a black eye. <laughs> God gave him a black eye. God, gave when black God eye. got us straightened out. We knew which way we said it. <laughs> we wasn't going to miss our calling. It said, well, good we'll we'll your calling it. is without repentance. Amen. 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 When he called me, I knew what I had to do. I knew it was in the music ministry. Now, I know a lot of people say, Brother, you called to preach, man. If I ain't heard him say that yet. <laughs> if I do, I'll be there. But he told him, I know he wants us to go and bless people. And you know, we're living in such a time right now, if you can bless somebody, you're doing something. Amen. If you get a, if you help lead a lot of soul to get saved, you've done something. Amen. This is the time. If you ever wanted to be a hero for Christ, I've said this over and over. Now's your time to be a hero. Exactly. Man, you can preach it wherever right now. You can get out there and you can tell somebody about it right now. Amen. You can make things happen through Jesus. I wish told them. When we get to heaven, Paul's going to look at all of us and say, Y'all bunch of slackers, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had to walk everywhere, and y'all had cell phones, and y'all had cars, and all this stuff. And y'all didn't get whooped and stayed bit and chipped and everything. Else. But you made it anyway. Enter, come on. But yeah, I'm sure he's gonna look at like, man, y'all. But y'all just don't know. Some of us do. Yeah. I'll tell you, sometimes we get to traveling out there on them roads, yeah. you know, you know, here and there. We go all the way from South Georgia to South Florida. So, yeah. you know, we do a lot of traveling and sometimes we get a little weary too and we do have some accidents and the cars run hot and flat tires. We can stand here to tell tomorrow and tell the story. Yeah. 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 But, but we you know what? Going. The Lord the devil throws blocks up, but the Lord always sees it. Yes, he he puts us right where we need to be when well, we need to be. He's there faithful. You know. yeah. And we saw that through every bit of it. Yeah. Every time we think something's going wrong, no, God had it. Put us there and put that situation for us to deal with it. Because he said, that bunch of duties, I'll just put them wherever. They don't do what I do. He said, I used that donkey one time, and I can sure you I sure you <laughs> them. <laughs> I can already speak the language. <laughs> we have, we have, we have. Well, I can tell that. <laughs> we played in parking lots at 7 Eleven. We played at just wherever, wherever. We end up. We don't. We'll play. If we're all together, we know that's in God's will. Amen. And we're doing something, so we're gonna. Amen. We're gonna minister wherever we're at. Right. It don't matter. We're by giant frogs. <laughs> Can I tell y'all a real short story? Since you brought up, it's on Ricky today. We played in Okeechobee at the Cowboy Church. That night. I had a great night, man. It was awesome. It was like one o'clock in the morning, and we was coming out on uh, 27. There off that little side road that comes off of. The lake, whatever that road is, uh, 60 something, or, yeah, 60. I think it's And we stopped that truck stop, and the bathrooms were full at 1 o'clock in the morning. All the women, we let them go to the bathroom first, so Ricky just bounces behind the store. Yeah, yeah I'm telling on him. Yeah. About five minutes later, he comes back from around the building, he was white as a goat. My dad, well, what in the world is wrong with Ricky? He said, y'all ain't going to believe this. He said, man, I was back there behind that Jimmy Thorne. He said, hey, frogs back there. And he said, they are that high and that long. And he said, my gosh, what have you got? We thought it was bullfrog. We thought it was bullfrog. He said, no, this ain't bullfrog. Yeah, he said, I don't know what kind of frog, but it's not bullfrog. And he thought he was back on the bottle. We stood around the building, and they began They came out of the bushes. They were coming there. They were chasing me. Hundreds of them. I'm telling you, I'm out there. If they've been a five pound frog, they were five pounds, wasn't they? They had to be. And they were everywhere. The more it's coming to them. You ever seen your life? I'm telling you. It's coming to them. You can't eat them. They're poison. No, I got boogers. I said, I run in there and I told the lady at the store, I said, ma'am, did y'all know y'all got about 150, 200 frogs back there and they that big like that? They said, shh. 
I said, what? Why? She said, don't say that. She said, if you say that, there ever a hippie in South Florida will be here. <laughs> <laughs> now, why they come? She said, they come down here and they lick their backs. <laughs> and I say, what? She said, yeah, they, they get high and lay all over the parking lot and out there behind the they store. Thug, they lick the spots and it draws poison out of them. And they get high off of it. They kill your dog. They kill your dog. Yes, but the thing that got me the worst, and we're, we're on our way home, and it was an adventure. I'm telling you, it was an adventure seeing them and hearing this Ricky story. Ricky wasn't seeing things. That was good. I got the thing. They come all the way up in the parking lot. We like, oh. But through that, God gave us another ministry. People have to be delivered from frogs. Yeah. <laughs> and I got to thinking on the way home, what you think happened? You think two old boys are sitting back there one day? Hey, Butch. You see that frog? There he is. I dare you to lick him. <laughs> you might get a princess out of it. You know how the fairy tales go. Why, why else would you be sitting around and say, I'm going to lick that frog? <laughs> you would just did not register, and to this moment, it still don't register. Why would anybody want to lick a frog? But it happened. Somebody knew this, so somebody tried it. So now, if you go down, and it's usually in the summer, they said yeah. them things come all up out of the woodwork, out of the swamp, and they look like a half bull frog. frog and a half toad frog. What what they you know, you know but they're very poisonous. Yeah, I, I couldn't figure this out. Right oh, here. How all it all good. come about. A man was in my position. <laughs> he got attacked by a frog back here. And they got the last one. He accidentally licked that frog on the back. And they become big. He bit him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, y'all may think we're joking about that, but this is the entire truth. I'm scared to death. That thing kept coming. He's chasing me. My daddy, when he saw the bird, he got his pocket knife out. He said, I don't know if this case will take care of him, but he said, we'll get one of them out of the way. <laughs> but that's no joke. But it's, it's, playing music for the Lord is always an adventure, and I really think that that was part of it because a lot of people got caught that night. You know, And I know it was all about a frog story, but you know, God made them frogs. I just don't think he intended for us to lick them. I think, yeah. It let us know where humanity has got to. There you go. And away you go. Yeah, that so, and I pictured that when she said that every hippie from South Florida would be up here laying in the parking lot high. <laughs> Boy, I'm, and these are down south, I can tell you. That's what we thought. <laughs> yeah. He must be telling us we got to come down here a lot. These people need some help. But anyway, they this is our help. mama, and she prayed for us all the time. And this song is about a young man whose mother prayed for him all the time. And, uh, she died and went to heaven before she got to see him saved. But he was telling God, man, I wish you could tell her that I did because of her prayers and prayers I've been set free. And you know, when you're looking at all of us here, if mama hadn't kept praying for us, we was a lost bunch, man. We was terrible. We were mama bad. kept putting us before God. And it, I know it was her prayers because I, when I'd see her, I'd say, Mom, you gotta stop praying for me. I was miserable. <laughs> I would, I'd be saying we're doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing and I'd just feel terrible. And then I tried to trick her one time. I said, you know, it just makes me feel bad and I'm just gonna drink more. She said, well, I don't care. I'm gonna keep on praying for you. You ain't gonna get me to stop. There you go. Didn't work. But you know what? She knew that God was here. And when I told her that, I thought I was doing what it did for her. Was like, oh, so they're working. <laughs> Working. Okay, that made a good time for her. Right. And she only wanted us to get saved. She didn't think there would be a gospel be group and that. minister. That's how God come. blessed. That's how God blessed her. Oh, she wanted her. us to be saved. She didn't. God blessed her with all the rest. Can you imagine 49 years of people praying and bobby pins and hair buns flying everywhere <laughs> over us bunch of mean youngins? <laughs> it worked. Amen. Amen. But if you have a mom, she's gone. They say every time a soul enters, heaven rejoices. Amen. That's the Amen. song too. And you know, if your mom got here and you gave your life, she saw it and she knows. But yeah, it it's took long, us a long time to ever do this song. I knew the song a long time, but it would tear me up because it's, it's, it hit home. Yeah. We, 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 we did it a while. Well, as a child. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
an angry lover. I'm oh, sorry, can I say one little thing? Um, no, at 29 years old, I was sent 36 years and nine months in prison. Pretty much death by imprisonment. And my mother didn't just pray for me. She wept from the depth of her soul. Every single night. <coughs> that she would live long enough to be set free. After 17 years in prison, 17 years in prison, I was set free 20 years early. All by the grace of God. Oh, because, awesome. but because of the prayers of a concerned mother. Yes. Now, if anybody doesn't believe that, let me add this. Last weekend, I stood in the Hillsborough County Jail with almost 50 men. And I said, let me ask you guys something after I shared my testimony. Let me ask you guys something. Yes. How many of you have a mother, an auntie, a, a sister, an immediate female member praying for you right now at this very moment? I was 50 men, every single hand, every single hand, yes. every one of them, everyone, there's someone yes. praying for you. You know what? And it works. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, right. Prayers of concerned mothers, nothing more powerful. No, right. Right. no we well, know they awesome, broke, bro. she, <coughs> break, she broke through. I know she did. Yeah. I could feel it every time it happened. You know what? And I'm standing here today because the enemy had plenty of chance to take me out. He did all of us. We all have stories. We all have testimonies. But Mama's prayers, I'm sure, kept us safe and brought us through what we had to get through. <laughs> Don't really touch me. We always do that song for Mama, you know, and my mom's gone on to be with the Lord. And I want Jesus to build my mansion next door to my mom. And that's the name of this song, just build my mansion. I have no chance to
Christ that one day. Yeah. 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 The old, it's an old hymnal, but we re, re reverted it the day we were here. Y'all catch it when we get going on. <laughs> And then we did it one time while ago. So this will be the third time doing a song. We probably won't do it no justice, but God knows. Amen. Wasn't you so happy today that you heard him call your name? Amen. Oh, my goodness. I tell you what, I, I was terrible. And my mom told me, she said, Dennis, you need to come. We're having church, and we're having a revival. I said, no, Mom. I can't go. The walls will not hold me. She said, Dennis, them walls have held a lot more than you. And, uh. I said, well, you know what? Who, who's preaching? She said, Leroy Stone. I said, Mom, you got to be kidding. That's the biggest drug dealer in, in Brady. 
What's he doing preaching in y'all church? What has happened to the church? <laughs> First thing I thought, my God, they've all black slid. <laughs> but she told me not, I still I couldn't fathom this. Not Roy Stone. Well, I sit there all that day and I, I am not going to that church. Not me, man. I need to go see what he's all about. <laughs> My wife came in and she said, she was all dressed. I said, where are you going? She said, I'm going to church. I told you I wasn't going. She said, I don't care if you're going or not, I'm going. I said, okay. But I got ready. You know, misery loves company, right? <laughs> I called up the drummer of our country band. We was playing at the Holiday Inn. I called him. I said, hey, dude, what are you doing tonight? He said, nothing, man. I said, you going to go to church? He said, yeah, come by and get me. He said, I'm already having a shower. I'm dressed. I'm pretty much ready to go. <laughs> Okay. I hung up the phone, went down there, and first thing, here's uh, Brother Shepard's the pastor, and here's Roy Stone in a jacket, coat and tie, haircut, all sleek back. I said, my God, the world is, it's fixing to come to an end. It's over. <laughs> man, he want a good one now, man. I said, I, I'll go in there. But let me tell you what, the joke was on me. But oh, buddy, when I lived there that night, I said, Lord, you ain't gonna worry about it. I won't go back to that church. Not again. But oh, buddy, I tell you what, he swung me over hell on a corn silk. Man, he preached the message. And you know what? It's like everybody at that church. <laughs> <laughs> I looked around at that 900 fingers pointing at me. I oh, my he don't, uh, They all know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. I ain't going. Next day, Work, come home, got my shower and everything, kick back in front of the television. My wife got ready again. She said, You going? I said, Nope. I said, I ain't going tonight, buddy. I'm liable to get saved. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm liable to get saved. I ain't going. <laughs> she said, I'm going. Better wait a minute. I got dressed and history loves company, right? I called up Eddie. Eddie, what are you doing? He said, I'm going to church with you, partner. <laughs> I said, man, there's something wrong with this. A whole bunch is ready to go. Well, we pulled in the parking lot, and my keyboard player from Fruit and Forest beat him there. Beat me there, <laughs> and he had a girl with him, and they got out, and he's wearing a suit and tie. No the Bible. And they said, what? I got out, I said, what? Did you say no funeral? <laughs> what are you doing? He he's said, he said, Dennis, he said, man, I know that your mother had told us there was going to be a revival and you knew the guy and everything. He said, I was out there mowing in the yard. He said, I heard a boy could have come and go to church with Dennis and his mom. And I. I said, well, how'd you know where I was going? He said, I guess because God told me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really confused then. I said, man, I'm going to fool around and lose my job. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get saved. I promise. Yes. I said, this is all falling into place. Sure enough. We all went in the church house and got in there, and y'all know Dale Meadows? Married my cousin. Another bona fide heathen. That was we their were band. Doing a there was a radio, radio show. show. The radio show. They had a contract with K92, and God was saving them in the month of the contract. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is? We're going to get fired. We can save you. We're ruined. <laughs> well, we walked in there, man, and guess what? Not <laughs> one musician showed up. showed up that Tuesday night for church to play. But God had put the whole band there. So they Roy called. turned around and said, the musicians are not here, but y'all are. We can play. <laughs> yeah, we can play. I know y'all know gospel. Have you all been in church before? Well, yeah, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Buddy, we played a few songs with them, and I mean, they got to preaching. I ain't even thought, buddy, I started squalling. God was really knocking on my door. I said, I told my wife, I said, I told you this is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Well, when he gave all the call, me and the drummer was the first ones at the altar. I mean, I ain't talking about walking down there shaking no preacher's hand. I'm talking about laying on the floor down there squalling. <laughs> Who else? Dale comes to the floor. Tommy, the keyboard player, he's down there squalling. My sister Janice, she comes down the altar. And I, I, I remember standing up, I looked around and said, it's over. Boys, I quit. <laughs> I'm going to get my stuff tomorrow. They probably sue me, but I'm done. <laughs> and he said, I'm right with you, partner. <laughs> you haul my drums? 
We everyone got saved that night, and that was thirty-three. 38 years ago? I ain't turning back yet. And everybody said, oh, Dennis has fell into some bad luck. He just got scared at church and got saved. Well, 38 years later, I'm still doing what he called me to do. Because I knew that night. That was not conviction as I would call conviction. That was God giving me my last day. You, hey, you want to do this? Mr. Calling was right without repentance. Now, do you want to do yeah. this? Or do you want to go off and die in sin? Because you know what hell is. This real. Yeah. I said, my goodness. I knew good and well God was calling me into this thing. And that's the story. 38 years ago, I'm still doing what he called me to do. I'm playing and singing. I'm ministering. And people still think he'll change one day. With 38 years, I'm pretty much set in my ways. <laughs> I done got old now. Ain't that what they say about older people? They done set in their ways. Yeah. Yeah. I'm set in my ways now. Yeah. I'm done. Been done, but that's how the story goes. And I don't know why I told y'all all that, but this song, it talks about when Lazarus called my name. Well, I knew when God called me, and I didn't turn away from it. I took heed to my calling. And uh, listen to the words of the song. We don't, I don't even know it. <laughs> we, we just worked this after church last weekend. I'm, I'm gonna hum After church service, we're done. We learned this right after church. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even, the word I know in is Lazarus. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hum the rest of it. <laughs> Ready? They ask all that. Sorry, we just learned it. We, we got we're, we're not joking. We just we played this after church. Yes. And one time out there, we tried it. We didn't get to do it out there in the morning. Okay. <coughs> uh, they ask
We're gonna do a couple of songs. I don't know how to do walk on water. Is it okay if we do a couple more songs? I know you're full, and I know you're ready to go to the house. No way. Is there somebody ready to go to the house? Go ahead and raise your hand. Come on, you're in the church now. You can't tell the field. <laughs> I see droopy eyes among you. <laughs> it has been confirmed that there's a cord from your eyelid to your belly button to your eyelid. <laughs> when your belly goes this way, your eyelids come down. <laughs> you got the arms on? Yeah. <laughs> it's so full of your head. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all heard work, walk on water? Oh gosh. It's okay, we're doing different anybody. Come on. As I need
Because they're coming to take us away. <laughs> oh, if I understand correctly, this is a completely free ministry. Of course. Right? Absolutely. So with that being said, we'd like to take up a love offering today for them because they, they charge nothing for their ministry. So tomorrow and I are going to take up an offering for this ministry. We will stop playing what I'm doing. Okay? Y'all want to play a $500 song? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know any. Yeah. Yeah.
guys for having us out today. And uh, I just want to tell y'all something. Y'all still race. We play at a lot of churches. That ain't no joke. And they always have dinner on They always have dinner on ground. Everywhere we go, every week. But y'all are top shelf when it comes to hog bars. No, man, y'all are right there. Y'all are country biddle all the way. And now, I come this close, this close to licking my plate right in front of everybody. <laughs> That's how close I was. And I was trying not to like ask somebody, did you get enough? And I was no, I'm not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't get enough. Y'all are the best cooks I'm, of any that's church. That's a bad thing to rate it like that, but we remember things a lot of times. Like, but y'all were like, damn. Man, yes, yeah. great. Yeah. Y'all eat like we eat. That's how we grew up. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. <laughs> there was nothing. I, I could have And you can get in trouble with these things. I'm going to say this, and we got to go. Like that. <laughs> we we played at this place. I'm not going to say where it was or anything because just somebody might know it. <laughs> <laughs> but. It's hard. You you can't tell a lie. You know what it's I'm saying? Hard. Somebody came up to me and Randy. And can't. sometimes you can't find the words even. That's right. Go around. Did y'all chime my corn red bean? Yeah. No. No. She Mine was the, took us to the it. plate back right there. That that that, that skillet back there. Come here. That's right. my you cornbread. You know how my cornbread is. I'm gonna get y'all a piece. <laughs> Uh, ain't no way to get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. We're, we're going to have to eat a piece of cornbread and nothing else. And we done some food. We can't even walk. I, know, I just know that's going to spit corn up. <laughs> but now this, here it goes. But here it goes. We she brought us that. Bread. She handed us cornbread and we began to eat it. And I'm in the church. I'll tell you no lie. That's the driest cornbread yeah, I've ever had. Yes. You couldn't drink enough. There's no way. <laughs> you could drink a five gallon water bucket full of water and you couldn't wash it down. You take a swallow and it was dust before it got you through. <laughs> and she, this she's is ever watching. I looked at this and this looked at me. I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> can't even talk. Well, so I saw one movie like, hmm. <laughs> but what is seriously no, bad about the wait. whole thing is everybody came up, they began to line up the chairs and got right everybody up. Everybody went for us that day. Well, you know, when lights is kind of on it, you can see things coming out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like one of them shake up snow things. <laughs> it didn't look like I had so much cornbread floating out of my mouth. It was, every time I'd say something, but here it goes. And I'm turning around, I don't know what to do. I said, this we're in a mess now. <laughs> What's that? We're in a tight spot, man. <laughs> That is the truth, but I, I will not say where it was, but y'all are top shelf when it comes to cooking. Y'all know how it's done. Yeah. And before we go, you know, like Dennis said, we nicknamed church and chop food. We just went through this little game, you know, and we got one church we call a pork chop church, one a banana pudding church, the other coleslaw church. We have got you paid. The chocolate. Morgus board. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was off. Awesome. Yeah. That's first day when we was coming. Y'all don't have to leave. You can keep right on. But somebody else is going to leave, right? I know what he's going to say when y'all turn off the air and should turn the lights off when you leave. Thanks, Dave. Y'all lock up when you leave. Y'all lock up a tea. Okay. My mom ain't gonna let us go till we do her song. Right? Look at her covering her mouth. I didn't really say that, did you? Yes, you did. You did, mom. Which one? Which one, mom? Oh, Thomas or Thomas or John the Revelator or Devil and Thomas? No. Oh, you ain't playing Devil and Thomas. Mom always wants to hear Thomas or Devil. And if y'all ain't careful, she'll say, is it close to Christmas? Y'all need to do Christmas in Dixie. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of her favorite songs that we do. Uh, yeah, we do some bluegrass every now and then. Uh, which one? Which one, Mama? Uh, which one? Now, y'all, we're sorry, but if we would, if we didn't do this, we'd be in trouble for a week or two. Y'all didn't do my song. Y'all need to do that. I don't have to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. What's the deal? Y'all do this song, then the next song she's singing. Yeah. <laughs> she can. She can. She's on vacation. She stinks right now. She thinks she can. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> she can sing. Yes. She can really sing good. I bet she can. I bet she can.
Yeah. Some of y'all probably, you probably heard it before. Yeah. Well, what do you think holding up the ladder? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great mind, great life. Yeah. Mama, come on. Well, I didn't say nothing. Come on. 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 Dana, she might as well join right in. It's a family tradition. Well, there.
guarantee you Jesus will show up just like he did for that. Amen. Amen.